hi everyone this is miss olu this is a video a short a quick video to show all my year three and year four students how to do division problem two digit and three digit division problem i found out that some children are still finding this tricky so today we are going to be using the partitioning method to help us so let's say you have 96 divided by four we could just make it a part and a whole and, and a whole to split it into a part O. So this is what I mean. We are going to draw a circle. We're going to write our 96 on top of here. And we're going to split the number into two. We are going to find a number that we know can be divided. That is a multiple of four and split this into two. So for example, we could use 80. We know 80 is a multiple of 4, and 80 add 16 makes 96, and we write 16 here. Then we divide each number by 4. Each number we divide by 4. We know, we might not be able to know what, when you divide 80 divided by 4, you might not know it, but you know your 4 times 7, and you know 8 divided by 4 is 2, and so 80 divided by 4 will be 20. So, obviously, you, you should know your 4 times table now. So, 16 divided by 4 is 4. And this is what you do at the end. You just add the answers together. So, 20 plus 4 will make 24. And that is how you do your division. So, 96 divided by 4, the answer is 24. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do another one now to show you how to do this. I'm going to send the video to you guys so you can watch it again, over and over again. So the second one, three digits. Let's say we want to use 726 divided by 3. Okay, we'll do the same. We make a circle, we draw a circle, we write 726. Then we think of a number to split it in two. We slip it into two. Always remember that you need to use a number that is a multiple of three to help you. If we write 700, we might not be able to do that. I don't know what 700 divided by three is. So I will just use a number that I know I'm comfortable with that I know is in three times table. I know six is in three times table. So I will just make 600. Yes, I will do 600. Then I would have my 600 here. Then here, what do I have to 600 to make 726? Because if I write 126, it may be too much for me. So I will just split it again into 120. And we have six left. So you do another one. It's fine. You can partition it the way you want. As long as the answer, you have the correct answer at the end. So we have six left. So remember, the, the next step to do is to divide each by 3. We are dividing by 3. Each of the split numbers, you're dividing it by 3, okay? So we may not be able to know how to divide 600 divided by 3 straight away, but we know 6 divided by 3 is 2. And because we have 2, 0, we just add 2, 0 next to it. It's as simple as that. We might not know 120 divided by 3 by heart, but we know 12 divided by 3 is 4. And we know there is 0 next to 120, so it will be 40. Okay, so the next one is 6 divided by 3, which is 2. Okay, so remember, the next step that we need to do is to add them together. 240 is 240. And... 200 add 40 is 240 and plus 2 is 242. So answer is 242. Always remember that when you're splitting your numbers, make sure you're splitting into the number that is a multiple of the number that you've been given. In this case, you're dividing by 3. So you should always use the number that you're comfortable in, that you know is in 3 times table when you're trying to split your number. I hope this helps and make sure that you watch this video all over again and again. And I hope this method will help you. Have a lovely day, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.